No. So what we're going to do before we unbox um, the new element is demonstrate how the mega tester works. So this tester tells you if things are safely insulated. Now electric elements like this should have no continuity between the actual element and either of the, the connections on them. But first of all, this is a broken one. Surprise, surprise, because I don't open, haven't opened this one yet. That's my broken one. And here is a bedside lamp. And you'll see we put one of the probes onto the bedside lamp metal and the other probe onto one of the, um, the terminals on the plug. And we press the test button, setting it to only 100 volts test. We press the button. And as you can see, we've got more than 100 mega ohms, which means it's a very good insulation. We move to the other one as well, to the live connection of the, um, the plug. So now we're testing for a live to earth fault and we press test. Again, we've got a very good um, insulation. And of course, between the, the two terminals, and at the moment, we've also got a very good insulation because the light's off. And if we switch the light on, then it will fail an insulation test by giving zero. No surprise there. So what we want is a reading of greater than 200. Or for the RCD in your house not to blow, it needs to be a reading of greater than about one. So now we'll take these probes off and we'll put them onto my broken element, showing why it blows the house trip. One connection on there and one connection on there. There should be nothing in common between those two. But unfortunately, when we press the test button, as you can see, it's a fail. And that's why it blows the RCD on the house. Okay, so now, we're going to open up the new one, unbox it. We'll put my old one, and you can see the different charge. I think it's got a different colored cable on it. But, and we'll put our one over here, so as not to mix up the two. And we'll open up this new one, and hopefully it's gonna pass the mega test. I do hope so. It'd be nice to have a bread maker that worked. All right, so just get my knife out. There we go, let's get the knife out. Where are you, Mr. Knife? There you are. Right. And we'll open the box. This is tricky. One hand. This is where we find out it's not the element, it's something else I've got to look probably, and I'll be pretty disappointed. And all this video is a waste of time. Is it going to be the element? Right. Let's have a look. Looking promising. Ah, I need a knife again. I only need to get it open enough to get the parts out to mega test, and then we'll know if it's a good element or not. Ah. Probe on. There we are, we're getting there. Oh, oh well, that'll be enough, won't it? Let's put the earth probe onto there. Like that. There we go. And then let's put the Another test probe onto one of the parts of the element. Like so. Moment of truth, let's press the button and hope for the best. Oh, it looks like it might be a good one. Test the other probe. Again, get to across those. Press test. Still good. Test the continuity between the two, which should be a fail. is test resistance across the element which it has got resistance which is good that means it's going to it's going to work most probably 100 ohms is about 240 divided by 100 it's roughly 2 amps 
go back to mega test and we'll check that our connection between these two places is good by connecting one element there and the other one just slightly further along it just to prove that we're actually connect, making a good connection on the element it's a fail which is good take it back off there put it back on here press test again so we're doing the element earth test we know the earth connection is good because i've just tested it and it's a pass again excellent so this new element looks like it should work